everyone crafting vicky here with you and today i wanted to do something in my little book my little journal that i had made uh for with um some a lot of junk um and i made this to bring with me on my um vacation and uh i didn't really get to do much in it because we were visiting a lot so i really want to continue doing something in it but it's um it's paper that's very thin so i have to be careful on what i put on there <coughs> I'm sorry so I'm thinking that I'm gonna be doing a little bit of stamping maybe and uh, I pulled out some items from my stash that are good for mark making so I thought maybe using that and uh, I pulled out some white I've got some leftover black and uh, I pull out a dark um, peacock blue and so I thought I was gonna just try and, and do some stuff on there I want to use up what's on my desk as well um, just because I need to use it and just because as well this is a junk journal so it doesn't have to be perfect it's just for me and uh, I, I need to really get going and using stuff so so yeah so let's get going on this um, I'm thinking maybe I should use just this to start with this was just like lying on my desk and it's the proper color oh and I'm gonna be using it with this super cute little oddball digi and uh, if you like oddball digis um, you should go and check out their store and down in the description be box below I will be putting down the uh, the code my DT code if you want to get 10% uh, off which is a pretty good deal so thought you might be interested in this okay so oh that's a lot of stuff I didn't really look. I don't have that much to glue down, but but then again, and that's what I have to be careful about because this paper is not the best for liquidy stuff. But but it doesn't matter. It's mine, so if it goes weird, it's still mine, and it won't. I won't care so much. It's not the same when you're giving something out to somebody or selling it. Oh, and by the way, um, I have a similar journal in my Etsy store. If you're interested, because I had a leftover uh, envelope to uh, to use, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Got this leftover piece. Oh, I got some. Uh, this is some newspaper that uh, Mo had sent to me, and she sent to me, sent it to me with. Um, I purchased a. A canvas that she had made and she wrapped it up with uh, newspaper and it was kind of, it was really fun because it was a it was a different language newspaper than what I was used to so I always love those don't like seeing the this so much Maybe here And here I'm putting I'm I'm putting the um, cutting board. Uh, I'm using the idea from uh, Mike, uh, but I didn't want to put it here because it was just like way too big, so it didn't fit in. Should I put it here? Okay, why not? Let's use it up. It's going all worky on me. But, like I said, I don't care. 
It's going to add some dimension to it. It's all fun. The background was uh, made with pen pastels. Okay, so let's add a bit of white. Shake this before. I'm either loading too much or not enough. This is like weird. And I need to finish off my little album for uh, fonts so I really want to use up all the leftover paints in there because I'm never going to get finished otherwise and this is like taking forever and it shouldn't be taking that long it's just because I'm not I'm using only leftovers and most of the time I forget to use it and I use other stuff so yeah I really need to uh, get cracking and and use up more of it in this book instead because otherwise I will never get to actually put my front in there and then what's the fun in that Be a bit of stamping. This is uh, one of those shelf liners. Just using a bit of hit it here. Just because I can and I want to. Oh, this is turning out to be fun. I like when it's just like messy fun just for the fun of it. No no real intentions, nothing really planned. I don't do a lot of I don't do enough of that. Okay, so it's printing fine on this little piece of paper, but it's it's not printing here. Now I got it going. By the way, those little pieces of paper that I use to put my paint, as well as um, to put my paint, as well as any um, like glue and stuff, these they're the back of um, labels from um, FedEx or well, actually UPS that my workplace use. So whenever they use, um, they do anything with FedEx, um, oh, what am I saying, UPS, when they send out stuff, when they peel out the, um, the label, they give me the uh, little backing. And that just makes a wonderful thing to put my paint on. And it's still recycling, so I'm loving that. Because it's not, uh, you know, I'm not spending money on it, I'm not doing any of the pollution it's just just fun all the way all around okay so there's a bit of leftover paint here let's use that up all I wanted to do was cover up some of that text so that it wouldn't take the place of whatever font I put on top of it It here for now okay and let's add one last little element
I love this one. When it's working properly. It's missing the inside piece. Whoa. There's supposed to be little um, pieces showing. And usually there is, but I guess not this time. Oh well. It's okay. No big deal. It's just fun, right? Okay, so this here. I'm thinking that my page is pretty much complete. I just need to put my digi, the sentiment. I still have a bit of um, washi tape that somebody sent to me. So I'm thinking maybe I should use it on, on this page. This way I'm using it in something that's staying with me. So I don't feel as guilty about using it. Because as I said in a previous video, I don't, I tend to hoard what people send me just because if I use it, then it's over. I don't have any more. And that like kind of bums me out. So I kind of not use it. Which is really stupid because what's the point if I'm not going to use it to even have it, right? But never said I made sense. So here. I'm taking one more here. Okay. And this is a bit too much for my taste. So I'll just use it on a tag. He See, this is a tag that I had gotten uh, with a pair of pants or whatever. So, here we go. All hidden now. So I can write something on there. Okay, so I'm thinking her here. And then the, um, the uh, sentiment that I'm putting with her is the secret of getting ahead is getting started, which is very true. And it is something that is hard for me to actually do. Uh oh. See how I did that? I tend to do that. End up checking if the paint is dry and putting it all over the place. But it's okay. It's my journal, right? And I can always cover it up with part of the sentiment. So, the secret. And voila, all hidden. And I'm thinking that I'm not going to put, um, I'm not going to put this on top of it, just because I don't want it to uh, stick too much. It gets very sticky with this. Plus, it's already warping a lot because of. Um, because of the paint and, and putting it on initially, so let's not increase it. And I managed to use up all that tape. Yay, me! It's really helping watching uh, people do the use it or lose a junk uh, type of challenge because um, it's kind of made me 
think of all the stuff that I have and that I hoard and don't use or all that you know what's weird is is I used to do cards so I've got a lot of stuff for card making like a lot of papers and and dies and whatever and, and stickers and I used to do uh, scrapbooking as well so I have a lot of that stuff too like big 12 by 12 sheets and whatever and then I got into mixed media so then I needed a whole bunch of different other things and then to top it all off then I started watching people using junk so then I started keeping my junk so now it's like getting out of hand like I really need to start using my stuff because my husband will eventually divorce me because there's too much stuff all over the place so here is my page and I love how she turned out isn't she cute I love it so very very happy with the result of this and it's one more page done in my book so yeah he me getting uh, getting some stuff done but it's uh, yeah I just have to start using the stuff see I was given tags and stuff and I put them all in and, and now I need to fill all this up and uh, continue so one done and many more to go hope you like this uh, if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave comments and subscribe if you haven't already. And go check out Oddball's image. And if you uh, want them, don't forget to uh, use my DT code so that uh, you get 10% off. Bye, folks.